do anything anyway. Okay. Stress defense. What delightful agony shall inflict. Alright, so we're gonna manifest the messenger from the loping telescope. Now from this we're gonna choose Ruthless Raider. Okay, so we make we make the messenger from the shell folk and the raider from the shell folk and then the, this messenger from the actual loping telescope. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some shell folk timelines. This is the deck that I have been very excited to play because I just really like playing uh, Curious Shell Folk. I think this is a card that is one of the most underplayed cards right now. There are like the manifest cards in Bandle City are all incredibly good. And this says whenever you pick a card from randomly selected options, create a copy in hand and reduce its cost by one. And so that works perfectly with Bandle City Mayor, Loping Telescope, Conchologist, Trinket Trade, Otterpus, all of those kind of cards. Um, so we're going to combine that with uh, Piltover and Zahn for, uh, and of course also Pranks. Pranks are, you know, work perfectly with that too. Because Piltover and Zahn wants us to make a lot of created cards for Victor. Like we're going to try to level up Victor by playing seven created cards, which hopefully shouldn't be too too difficult. Because then when you have your leveled up Victor, then your, all of your created cards cost one less. So with Shell Folk, we'll create a card and reduce its cost by one. Victor will also reduce the cost by one. So we're going to be able to just sit here and play tons and tons of cards. Because um, if you haven't seen Pranks with Curious Shell Folk, Pranks, you are you know selecting one of three um, randomly selected cards. And so you make a copy of that in your hand. So you prank their card in their hand, make it cost like two more mana, and then you make a copy of it and it costs one less. And if you have your Victor, it costs two less, right? It's just such a great combination. So we're going to be combining that. Now we're going to be combining all of that with... Oh, we'll also have Glorious Evolution to try to make things cost less mana again. Because we have so many cards that we just want it to cost less mana so we can play more of them. But now we're going to combine that with timelines, with concurrent timelines. This is the first time each round you play a follower. You pick one of the three different followers to transform it into. Well, with Curious Shelfo can play... When you look at those three followers, whichever one you choose, you make that a copy of that follower in your hand as well. So not only does it go in play, it also you get one in your hand, and so you can kind of. And then it also costs one less, of course, with the uh, shell folk. So you can kind of keep going with that. So this seems like we can do lots and lots of really cool stuff. So let's get to it. We're probably going to play some really long games. I'm looking forward to it. Let's have some fun. It's shell folk timelines. Okay, Poppy Tristan is our first one. I'm worried about uh, the Bandle Tree. It looks like this is definitely a Bandle Tree deck. So I am worried about dying to the Bandle Tree. Maybe I keep Mini Morph for Poppy. Nah, we'll send it back. I'm gonna keep the Shell Folk though. So I do. So because I'm worried about the Bandle Tree, I do have two copies of Aftershock in the deck instead of like thermogenic beam or anything else. So we can destroy a landmark. Okay. So the Poro is the cheapest card. The Messenger is a created card that draws another one for us. I could go with the Fangs though, because then that's gonna you know be a created card that also creates another card. So you know we just keep on going with more created cards because we want to level up this Victor. I, well oh, we already have two four mana cards. I guess we'll take the Messenger. Yeah, it's the nerfed fangs. If it wasn't nerfed. Let's go. Grab my hat. Comb my mustache. That's not the cheapest card. We are I could see also discarding Bomber Second Twins for Get Excited. Alright, Moonsilver. 
Moon Silver means we can play Shell Folk next round. I actually probably have to do this. That's maybe I discard the messenger. Yeah, I don't need to draw that card. This means they don't get to play Poppy. If their plan was like Loping Telescope, then Poppy, they cost one less. Now they don't get to play the Poppy. They can play Tristana though. Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have played the Bomber Twins first and then discard this Hibernating Rock Bear. That would have been a lot better card to discard. So they're going to block... Oh, right. That was blocked like that. Basically, I'm thinking that, like, I can't profitably block anything with the Yordle Smith, so... Okay. We made it. No, 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 no! Okay. That is something I was definitely worried about, though, and wanting to get the Shell Folk in play. Worried about aloof travelers. That seemed like an early use for that card. All right, we got Shell Folk. Let's go. So now I was planning on playing Benamuni, but Otterpus is just much cheaper. Let's go with the Otterpus. We've played two credit cards so far. Yeah, Shell Folk's also a really good blocker, right? A four-six body. Very good blocker. Oh man, I wish I had that card. Astounding curiosity spy ahead. Uh, I think I want to aloof travelers. Yeah. So now we get in aloof travelers. <clears throat> I dropped something. I dropped everything. What was that card? Bandle gunners. All right. Come to the hey. All right, I'm going to save the spell mana instead of playing. I don't know. Rock Bear does make this 5 out of 7. But, like, Ben and Mooney costs, like, 6 mana. Benamuni is a good blocker. I don't like either of these. I guess the Cavalier. Cavalier only costs two. Do I want to Aftershock and kill Tristana? Grab a Hidden Pathways? Yeah, because otherwise, yeah, we, we have to. So that that card, we can't, we can't really take that card. So you're at six out of seven. A hero stands, he sits All right, so Victor will be leveled up. Looking for an anvil. Really? Because I think we can, we're going to be able to like block for a really long time. As humanity ends, the machines rise. And so having this aftershock for the the bandle tree, I think that's going to be important. Because if their if their plan is just play a whole bunch of two ones, we can handle that. I think we should be able to. That thing's a little bit bigger than a two one. Alright, so that card costs zero. I really want to play this Glorious Evolution to make these things cost even less. Yeah, they're out of mana. Alright, so now these pranks cost zero. Oh yes, Loping Telescope. Thank you. I'll take a zero mana Loping Telescope. 
absolutely. We'll manifest an Equinox. Oh man, we just gotta go with another telescope, right? But all these are great options. But now look at just all these telescopes that we get. Buffing up the victor. Burble Fish can't cost very much mana, and that's gonna make another spell. It also probably doesn't cost any mana. Yeah, there's all zero. Let's maybe, maybe attack, so I have more room. So that one prank has made has made two loping telescopes, two burble fish. Of course, the burble fish are going to make more cards. Kill a few things. I guess I can death ray this Tristana. That's probably going to be useful. I think this victor is going to probably stay alive. You know, we'll get the. Um. Oh, trinket trade. Trinket trade gains mana. Because we can play Otterpus, gain a mana. Play another Otterpus, gain a mana. This is why we need the Glorious Evolution, so they all have the... Um, whatever. So, okay, so I, I'm definitely going to need... Uh, sure, we'll just make your Purple Glory Shake cost two more. I'll take zero mana Purple Glory Shake for protection. We're going to need to save at least one of these mana, because we have to play Glorious Evolution next round. Um, I'm just gonna play you. Counterfeit copies. More copies of Loping Telescope in the deck. Sure. Could go more Glorious Evolutions in the deck. All right, that's nine cards in hand. We know their entire hand is just a bunch of nothing, a bunch of garbage. I guess I'll play another one of these. Why not? Get another Loof Travelers. Alright, cool. Alright, we'll pass. You think I should have made more Aftershocks? Maybe. Oh, right, that was going to make that card. Maybe I should have made more, more Glorious Evolutions. Oh, there is the Bandle Tree. I think I can let them have the Bandle Tree for a round. I want... I need... I really want this thing. Those Glorious Evolutions going to be nice. So now they all have Augment. Hey, Elusive. The quest will be over quicker and you can fry a ferret. Then you can fry a ferret. The old one mana aloof travelers. Alright, what are these new cards you gotten? Ah, those aren't the new cards. Uh, I guess if you want to play Hidden Pathways, it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you if you want to play that card. Deal two to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> GG's. <clears throat> yeah, so we we the one other time we did play Shell Folk was with Aphelios. Um the the moon weapons aren't random. You're not going to make another moon weapon. It has to be for Shell Folk it has to be random choices. They're not the moon weapon choices are not random choices. This looks like a great hand to keep. We do have to worry about you do have to kind of think about like if when you play timelines you don't want you don't want your Shell Folk to get hit by timelines. So you kind of have to worry about that. Um, let's just pass here. Believe me, no re 
recourse. Okay. Thrasher really insult. Ah, oh, see, I don't want to hit the dust pedal dust. That's too bad. I might just play this cold shot. Alright, so that's two created cards for the hidden pathways. Folk. Dang, not too many bodies, though. You know, all of our conchologists, Loping Telescope, Bandel City Mayor, Ben Amuni, Victor, Caitlin. We have all those kind of cards. We're not seeing any of them. All right, so I'm going to probably just double up killing this thing. Man, we got a lot of shell folk. If I only had the one shell folk, I'd maybe try to wait a little longer on it and try to set up better. But since we got three, I'm just going to slam it. Yeah, three cost dust spell dust makes it a dead card in hand, but I don't expect it to really be doing anything anyway. They're not like a nightfall deck, I don't think. I don't really know exactly why they're playing the card right now. But I don't really expect it to do much of anything anyway. Okay. Stress defense. What delightful agony shall inflict. Alright, so we're gonna manifest the messenger from the loping telescope. Now from this we're gonna choose Ruthless Raider. Okay, so we make we make the messenger from the shell folk and the raider from the shell folk and then the, this messenger from the actual loping telescope. <laughs> That's some value. Value city. Okay. So we'll play this ruthless raider and this messenger. Conchologist, okay. Oh! I would say that hurts, but that's really not that big a deal. Levels up. Leveling up that card, though, that's the big deal. Yeah, that's the big deal. That card about to level up. Okay, well, that's gonna level up. That's life. What you gonna do? I have two options. I have Messenger, then another Shell Folk, or just cast this Glorious Evolution and get that going. I probably need to put more bodies out there. So I guess I could go Conchologist and not the Messenger, then have one less man. Actually, we should probably go Messenger. Okay, you can turn into a Warden's Parade. That's, that's cool. I'll get one of those. Ooh, Parallel Convergence. What once was two now is one. <laughs> what does he want from me? Cause you're at four out of six, so I probably don't. I'm gonna keep the mana, you know, for like the get excited stress defense mana, but I probably don't want to get excited one of these things right now. Yeah, I could have gone glorious into Doggo, but then that's only one blocker. 
Eleven's not dead. I think I can play the Glorious Evolution now. Alright, let's get some cheaper cards. I guess Conchologist. No, we can't take Conchologist. That, that's like six cards. But I like, I like both of these as blockers. I guess the blue sentinel doesn't matter that much anymore. We're about to have, yeah, we have full mana next round anyway. And the gift giver is going to make all these gems. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Oh, I mean, I'm going to have to replace that card anyway. I shouldn't have buffed up that. should have buffed up something else. should have buffed up, like, you or something. Alright, just getting some cards out of hand. Alright, that's fine. That was, again, just basically no cards for me for that. <laughs> Again, none of this really matters. No, the loping telescopes. Those are good. Okay, so we're going to have... If we play this, we have seven cards in hand, so I only get three cards. Mm, kind of want more than just three cards, but I don't really have other things to play. Let's see, I can... We can start playing some removal, I suppose. Like, Aftershock this thing. Are they going to... I'm gonna play like a Targon's Peak. And then I don't have that to blow up Targon's Peak. With four or less power? No. No. Because that's my console my conchologist. I need that conchologist. Oh man, that was rough against conchologist. Oh! Oh I should have stressed defense the she who wanders, so it would have got rid of itself. I need that I needed that conchologist. The Conchologist was going to just completely fill my hand. Okay. So we can... I definitely expected... And I don't know why. I was expecting to have one more mana for the Minimorph. Alright, let's just attack with some 14 power things. Free attack. Are they just taking it? Because we free attack with those, and then, you know, we have backup 14 power attacks. Like, we can kill them there. <laughs> they can't They can't block all those. I think, like, a coach or something would say that. Zoe Nami. Yanami. This deck pretty good, Nami. I kind of like all these things. Stress defense. We'll just get rid of that, I guess. But that's not necessarily bad against, like, some, you know, they, they're trying to buff up elusives, and so, like, the stress defense can keep me alive from a buffed up elusive attack. I have to discard a card with the Time Winder. I don't really want to discard a card. I'd have to discard, like, Glorious Evolution. I don't really want to do that. So we can assume that they're going to have a protection spell for Nami. On the trail. Wow. Not even attacking with the Zoe. That was unexpected. 
One step ahead. Yeah, I knew they'd be too scared to block the Otterpus. So what are the what are their plans? What do we got going on over here? So at least they don't have another unit to buff up right now. Pretty good. You're pretty good, Nami. You're pretty good. Of course, they have got any touch to heal Nami now. This is a tough setup to stop. It's just really unfortunate. If I play, because if I play Aftershock on either of the other two things, it doesn't work because they just, even just this Guiding Touch in hand that we know about, much less anything else that they could have in hand that we know about. They have, yep, they can play, if they can play two spells, then this doesn't work either. Nami's kind of busted. Good hand for them. GG's. They had round one Zoe, round three Nami. They had the, the two elusives and all the really cheap spells. It's just perfect hand. Good game. Is Nami Teemo a thing or Ezreal? Not. R I mean, you can make it a thing. I, we don't I, don't. I don't. I haven't really played against either one. So as far as like. Is it a thing is like that people normally play? No. Action Braum. So this is gonna be a Howling Abyss deck. Now they get excited for action. Yeah, you can definitely make Nami anything. Nami's like one of those champions that can pair with everything. Yeah, you know, like a Twisted Fate type champion that, that just pairs with everything. This is more creative cards with the Ballistic Bot or that Cold Shot. We did see that Cold Shot look pretty good before. Let us take a Let's take that. I may discard that Cold Shot here to get excited. I don't need rules uh, to good from bad. This is justice. Should we maybe maybe be saving that kind of stuff for like shell folk? But I'm gonna have the extra pranks from the Benamuni. Glorious evolution. Yep. Expecting that card. So 
at least now we have the pokey stick or if I would have done it last round we would not okay they had two protections Curiosities lie ahead. It's a 2 4. Ugh, so they, they get the Warlord's Palace. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> down! Put me down, I say! Or well, just let the Get Excited happen first, but then they would have striked. So yeah, they, they'd be getting the Warlord's Horde either way. Rex goes bag loop. Blah, blah. She gets it. Well. Aren't we an odd couple? Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. We do need to find aftershock for the champ for the um, the six mana landmark. <clears throat> It'd be nice to find that. I really do want to play Curious Shell Folk this round. But maybe we don't get to. If I go get excited, I can play like one prank along with get excited and then play Glorious Evolution next round. And then Shell Folk after that. This is the slower option. You can always troll chance. Wonder how much this is. Just action and infinite protection for action. I mean, shut up and fight! Okay. Could be useful. So obviously we're going to be really far behind, but our next couple of rounds like now after having that like we're gonna have really good rounds moving forward but we're quite far behind right now they're living the dream with their deck like their decks looking pretty cool like they're they're doing all the stuff they could possibly want they can now get rid of my other two blockers Okay, well, they probably should have. Like, they could have just played this Ice Shard and got rid of a couple blockers. I don't really know why they didn't. Um, down to eight. Yep. No, I was hoping they would play something else before playing that and we could prank and make a copy of that. That would have been cool. Preservarium? Oh, probably has Mercil something. What wondrous discoveries await below? Let's get this thing in the deck. Yeah, let's get that thing in the deck. There's concurrent timelines.
Okay. Got concurrent timelines the hard way. Alright, Otterpus. We'll just turn into a Ravenous Butcher. Which means we make another Ravenous Butcher. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Do we want action to have the vulnerable? Love it when they run. Gross. Let's get that out of our hand. Oh, I want Victor, and I want Glorious Evolution, and I want Loping Telescope. Those are all awesome. I guess we're taking the Victor, though. Right? Well, maybe it's actually the Loping Telescope. No, it's the Victor. Well, these things draw a card, right? Blit. All right, these weren't good choices. I don't know, double attack actually. Actually double attack with all the augments. That's not bad actually. Yeah, that actually works out. That's actually going to work out pretty well. Oh, wait, but one health. No, one health not good against Ice Shard. Mm. Okay, never mind. That's not going to work out well. Things got. So this is a 7-2 with Fearsome. That's just a regular 7-2. I'm just playing all this stuff for the augment. We're gonna be buffing up all these because we'll eventually like buff all these things to like 20 attack. Oh, I, I have this that can draw Victor. Wait, I should have already drawn Victor. I was thinking for some reason I couldn't draw anything, and I don't know why I was thinking that. I should already had Victor in play for these different augments. Victor should already have like, you know, plus three, plus four. And I would have spent less mana on everything else. I would have had mana for like mini morph. That was like two or three mana I didn't need to spend that I did. Vault Breaker. Why can't you cause zero? Let's take a peek at life beneath the wave. One of them will. If only this made an exact copy. I don't think it makes an exact copy, so I think the copy is going to cost one mana. So I can give plus six, so I can make that a black thing. I think they have Frostbite. So I think I can cast two of these. So give everything plus two, plus zero, and then something else. Two other things, plus two, plus zero. Like, they only have four blockers right now. Like, this is... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, this is 19 damage? Why didn't I do the one pokey damage to them? This is 19 damage. Yeah, your funeral. Hey. Yeah, but it costs one mana. Alright, so I I should have drawn if I would have drawn the victor a lot earlier and then played it, we easily would have won this. I could have I could have done better. <laughs> so I think these decks are difficult to play. I forgot that I had the the ability to draw one. But then because I would have just had less because I would have had things that cost less mana to play. Right, and so like we're still looking just fine. 
but I, I would have had I would have spent like three or four less mana, so I would have been able to play like three or four more of these Vault Breakers. And then also Victor would have had a lot more augment as well. Yeah, we still have Pokey Stick, we still have Get Excited. Um, I have Stress Defense and Mini Morph together. I don't have to be as worried about like this big action, because we can get rid of spell spell shield with one and then mini morph it with the other. Should have grabbed action. How would I grab action? Oh, right, because the action had the vulnerable. Oh, right, it had the vulnerable. I forgot about that vulnerable from a long time ago. Yeah. So I could have pulled that also. Oh, come on. Concurrent timelines is the worst possible card for us to draw. Wrap them up tight. That is the worst possible card for us to draw. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense for them. Yeah, so I could go the other way, and then it's only one attack if I do the mini more first and then stress defense. But then the thing about that... Okay, so yeah, they would have buffed it up anyway. But I was going to say the thing about that is they get to keep an action. If, if they had something, if they had like frostbite, but they had that, so they still... They would have killed it either way. Right. Can't play that anymore. Loping Telescope. Vandal City Mayor. That will do. Alright, we're going to take a Shark Trainer. I don't know, you have Scout. Do I want the big thing with Scout? Or the thing that makes the Overwhelm thing also? Probably the thing that makes the overwhelm thing also. Uh, yeah, overwhelm thing. That's not bad. Oh, they're just gonna end it with the ice shard. It's tough to play when you have all the de decisions, and yeah, I could have done a better job of killing them that other round, but we still, still had it. So GG's. Okay, Ezreal Senna. Darkness Control Dex. This is where we're going to want to outgrind them. I'm going to keep all these cards. These are all, like, grind cards to start with. Mini Morph, important for getting rid of both their champions. Their champions are going to be the cards that probably will kill me. So Mini Morph can do that. Especially the Senna, right? Like, that's Mini Morph's more for Senna. But it's also good against, like, Rekindler. Yeah, you're, you're going to play really long games with this deck, that's for sure. have Mystic Shot cost for him. I was, of course, hoping that they would um, block. If I play, like, one of these things, then they definitely block this. I was, you know, checking to see if maybe they'd block something else. Built of a peacemaker. Yeah. What wondrous discoveries await below? The other two spells weren't that great. Me miss? Not by a long shot. I know this walks into Thermobeam. Wow, they just drew Thermobeam. Carry on. But I don't think. I don't know. It didn't feel like waiting was the right answer. Pokey stick. Cool, we can pokey stick that thing. Not give him the blocker. Ooh, what's up, Heimer? Okay. I see you, Heimer. Hmm. Dawn speaker? 
times. See you soon, friendos. Oh, I'm gonna close. I would prefer they didn't block. Yay. Because this 4 2 is also not a bad card for me to Peacemaker. My plans. I don't have a lot of great cards to Peacemaker. Words move hearts and armies. That was the perfect card. That was the perfect card. That's rough. Fortunately, Dawn Speakers is only other allies. It doesn't count itself. Alright, so that didn't work out too well. I think I'm waiting on Heimer. I think I'll be playing Glorious Evolution before Heimer. I think I'm probably planning on playing Glorious Evolution next round. Now it seems, with them playing that thing, it seems pretty safe. Oh, right. They had a flash bomb. <laughs> I was like, what is that? There's a timelines. Do I want to take that timelines or the otter puss? Probably just the otter puss. I regret playing that Otter Post last round. Yeah, I, I really regret playing that Otter Post last round because then I realized that wait, if I'm playing Glorious Evolution next round, I was thinking you'll use mana, but if I play Glorious Evolution next next round, then it just actually gains me mana to wait. So that thing already has plus two costs. Let's have that have plus two costs as well. I guess I should have done that Mystic Shot, shouldn't I? I mean, at this point, we don't... What would I rather play? A second Glorious Evolution or... This Prank? The Prank's gonna be a lot better if we draw Shell Folk. So I guess we're gonna go this way. Come on, Shell Folk. Not Shell Folk. Okay, so again, they have the Fleeting Vile Feast, right? That was the one spell they played last round was Vile Feast. So I can just pass. I don't have to play anything, and they just get rid of that Vile Feast. Okay, so they're casting Mystic Shot so they can make a Fleeting Mystic Shot next round. This thing with the 4 health dies to Mystic Shot plus Mist. Yoda Ranger with 5 health does not. Let's go. Grab my hat. Comb my mustache. Mustache. Of course, they're about to Vile Feast. Oh, these are good. Time Trick and Pokey Stick are both good. I think we want the Time Trick. Telescope or Victor? I mean, Telescope just makes another card that can be an epic that's just awesome. I'm, But it's Victor. I 
I would prefer to attack after I play Victor. And after I play this, so we buff up these things with the health. Also, I could be distracting them. Yeah, you know, like they use removal on the Yodel Ranger, for example. Keep your distance. Playing the victor so that these cost less, right? So now we can play many more and aloof travelers. Okay, well, that's kind of all I got. Yeah, drink trade. Good card. Man, think how good a, a hidden pathways would be really nice. a dark bulb acolyte makes my own darkness how about that yes, of course. that's pretty cool gotta fight darkness with darkness That'll do. All right, four and one for Shell Folk timelines. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, so there we go. That was Shell Folk timelines. Glorious evolution. I'm telling y'all, looked looked pretty good in there. Of like making everything cost one less and giving everything augment. Um, that was definitely important. In some of those games of just buffing up the power so much because we need to close out the games too. Right, and so everything costing less means we get to play a whole lot of cards, and then the augment means they're all like 10 power, 20 power, and everything like that. Um, I was kind of surprised that we actually were running out of cards, though, some of these games. So I could see playing another Hidden Pathways, because we actually really were running out of cards. Um, the stress defense was like, eh, it was alright, but maybe not that necessary. So, you know, if we're looking at way, you know, some way to find... A spot for another hidden pathways maybe that's it um kind of need that aftershock to destroy the landmarks you always kind of need mini morph so i could see taking out the stress defense and getting in another hidden pathways there because uh, you know you can always make stress defenses and stuff with conchologist and trinket trade as well so i think that, i think that's one small change i would do get get one last hidden pathways in here uh, but besides that i liked everything else um, you know, Caitlyn's not amazing, but it, it, again, it just distracts your opponent. It's, it's a champion you can play earlier. It's just a card you can play earlier and, uh, distracts them and everything. Um, aloof travelers would be better than Caitlyn, but aloof travelers cost four and we already have these other things at four. And so I'd rather have something for three. Could maybe go station archivist though. Now that I think about it, actually maybe station arc, cause we do have a good amount of spells for station archivist. But let's see, glorious evolution, mini morph. Yeah, there's there's not there's not like trinket trade's like the best thing to hit. So you could go archivist over Caitlyn, try to hit trinket trade or pokey stick. Maybe you hit like a 
concurrent timelines or something though but it'd definitely be for a lot later in the game like caitlin's like a card that you can play on round three and start hitting them could also play some treasure as another thing you can play on round three but we kind of saw like with our get excited we didn't always have things we wanted to discard uh, but those are a couple other options if you want to try to fit in another heimerdinger um, for another champion or vi but i don't want to have the curve too high in this kind of deck but there's a lot of potential it's pretty awesome it's uh you know curious shell folk a card that i think is really good and really underrated curious shell folk timelines all right so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and as always feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck what do you think of um playing concurrent timelines with curious shell folk hopefully y'all enjoyed it but that's going to be it for this video so as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next one